Today's Wednesday, ready? Reading from the Paul's letter to the Philippians. My beloved, meeting as you have always been, not only when I am present, but all the more now when I am absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish. The word of the Lord. Hmm. I'm told that, that um, uh, on Pope Francis' door, there's an attachment out there in his apartment there at St. Martha's house in the Vatican. Very simple, one line, one sentence. Hmm? It says this, you are forbidden to complain. Wow. Hmm? This work was no came from the Italian psychotherapist Salvo Noe. He said, met Pope during the, during the audience there in St. Peter's Square. He gave him a book and this notice, which Pope Francis liked. You are forbidden to complain. Well, so he put it on his door as a reminder to him and anyone who passes that way and looks at his door, you know, who reads it, hey, no complaining. People say, well, you know, being pastor at any job, authority, parent, whatever it may be, what makes it hard isn't the work, it's when people complain, right? Anybody can complain, it's easy to complain. We all can find fault. You want to live with people who complain? Not at all. We want people who recognize the weaknesses and shortcomings, they're not blind, they're not naive, but their focus, their stress is in the positive and the good, right? And that's how we need to be. Oh, anybody can point out what's wrong and complain and actually people, some people enjoy it, but you need to focus on the positive and the good. Like Paul says, no complaining in every part of our life. God bless you.